Hi, Geminis. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is your July 2017 spiritual reading. I've got some new decks here that I've been uh, excited to try out, so I'm going to use the July reading videos to ask Spirit to just kind of give us spiritual messages we need to know for the next month and month or so. Uh, these are the Dorian Virtue, Mary Queen of Angels deck. And I like to pull a word of prayer for closure when we end the reading. So to start with, I think we'll pull some cards from the Wisdom of the House of Night deck. This is by PC Cast and Colette Baron Reed. Dear Lord, Spirit Guides and Angels, please bless those born under the sign of Gemini. Sun sign, moon sign, or rising sign with clearly defined messages for July 2017. Thank you. Wow. So the card representing your current life path here on Earth at this time is Conclusion. Now because it's a new deck, I'm going to kind of peek here every so often. This is a time of endings and new beginnings. Drawing the symbol indicates that you may have come to the end of some experience in your life and are about to enter a new one. Remain open when an ending is final or a conclusion is correct. This is the sign that a new story is about to unfold. All right, have hope. Once you have hope, there is nothing left but the blessings of hope. Okay, so something's coming to a conclusion, and there's hope. Now, this isn't for everyone. I only pull in so many messages during these readings. If you'd like a direct energy read, you can email me at josiek42 at gmail.com, and you'll receive a video just like this, except directly towards you, that I will attach to an email. You can click and watch it, and you can save it and watch it as many times as you would like. $40 for that, and it's 80 if you want an emergency read. The average wait is about three to five days. All right, so confidence in your thoughts position. Very good. Confidence as you're closing up a life path moving forward. Um, in your foundation, individuality. Standing strong in your own. In the recent past, you summoned something. Maybe you summoned some closure. And now moving into the near future, we have lust. Oh boy. Confidence, individuality, and lust. But in the next four to six weeks, Spirit's saying you have control over trying to figure out how to get in a mindset that you are trapped within or outside of a situation or to a situation. Someone outside of your path is just being very playful. So you're saying you're getting a little more serious, I feel, than this person, and there is a lot of lust there, Spirit's saying or you're hoping for, this is hopes and fears, that a message will come. In your outcome position, you have the strength energy. So know that you have the energies of the strength card to remain strong as maybe you are waiting for messages from someone outside your path. Now, again, with the wisdom of the House of Night deck, I am doing a summary to my right for clarification and the cards say in the first couple weeks here of July there's a lot of fulfillment and then in the next couple few weeks you may go through a position of or uh, thoughts of where is it that I belong and spirit saying we go through different cycles it's a good time to think about where have I gone, who have I been, who am I now spiritually moving forward, and how is my new path going to be different than the past? Okay, so some of you are putting a conclusion to a situation that you were so connected to. You couldn't release yourself from it, but you knew it was not healthy. For some of you, it could be some sort of a substance or a person, something earthly bound. The card crossing that is hope. Having hope is you let go of something that is no longer fulfilling, that there is no more love there, or maybe that it was missing the entire time. Hope that something better is coming in your future. In your thoughts, you have a lot of confidence. 
Some of you are really into your goal setting right now, trying to maintain and run and process issues and steps to accomplish things, or you're thinking about a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, sun, soon, sun sign, moon sign, or rising sign. In the foundation, individuality, really enjoying and celebrating your confidence and your own individuality. Summoning, maybe some of you tried to summon uh, or hope for or work towards a position of leadership, maybe owning your own business or a person who could have been an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or a person who is in a position of leadership who also owns their own business. But you're beginning to wonder, should I put a conclusion to this connection because there may not be love there? And Spirit's saying, yes, in the couple, next couple few weeks, you're going to realize that lust is what has brought you pain. Lust is what you connected to something, maybe for the wrong reasons. And lust was also tied to the Three of Cups. So really needing to set goals. How are you in the next four to six weeks, some of you, not all of you, going to release yourself from a position that you feel trapped towards, but yet you're having a lot of thoughts about? Someone outside of your path is being playful and they're wanting to offer a cup of love. But you're up in your head about that because you feel trapped somehow, because lust may have caused heartache in your past or will be causing heartache because there's three people. And you're still trying to be confident and goal setting and running maybe a company or whatever. And you have individuality, but you also like to, you're seeing that all of this cannot work together. Some of you have a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising still in your head that you feel trapped to, I feel. For some of you, not all of you, hopes and fears that you'll get a message regarding a new path in finances or a connection with someone who's of a fiery nature. In your outcome position, having the strength, see, using the energies of the strength card to finally get to the position of leadership some of you have been hoping for or to get clear messages with someone who may be a, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So in the summary, they're saying that in the first couple weeks here, we've got fulfillment but you're not all the way fulfilled. There are things that you do not know or you cannot see or that you don't understand in the first couple weeks. But the Hierophant's here to say, you've been through a very spiritual lesson and the lesson was to teach you about yourself. Where do you belong? Use one of the Hierophant's key, new offer of two keys. Pick a key to open a door into a new path of where you want to belong and have hope, faith, and trust. Don't forget the lessons of the past, Spirit says. People may seem rigid, but really they're each within their own path fighting their own battles trying to figure out their own lessons. In the outcome position, we have cycle. And the Ten of Pentacles, doing very, very well with regards to finances. I feel like we should read the cycle card since it's in the outcome position. Let's see. The cycle card means what goes around comes around. So because it's with finances and doing well, I believe that this new path is going to bless you with um, a good position in finances and career because you have worked very hard. In a summary to my left, some of you are getting your energies moving forward again in the next couple weeks, taking the steps that need to be taken to get to where you want to go, being clear about your destination, what it is you do and do not want on your path, connecting maybe to a fire sign, some of you, or starting to take the steps that you need to take or did take in the past to receive recognition at this time. Yeah, some of you might be putting closure to a path or a connection, you know, a career path or a love connection. And then boom, here comes that brand new path in career and finances that it looks like you've manifested because you heard about an offer with regards to finances. 
and you get yourself very excited and involved to be able to make some choices. You do have a little bit of time to make these choices, and in the meantime, maybe you can let go of someone from the past. In your outcome position, looking at something, should I give it another chance? Well, look what it puts you through. Do you want to give it another chance? Some of you are contemplating going to court so that you can move forward and have a new path, a new, uh, this could also be business, meeting up to, to going to an interview and finding yourself celebrating a new position, a new business location, and or, this could be marriage or divorce actually, this is celebrating to me. So this could be a house with love or engagement but still not being able to set down the swords of the past. So really use the energies of the temperance card to be very, very patient and learn from your experiences here on earth and spiritually to be able to make yourself, allow yourself to step into this very independent and financially well-off position where you can make a wish, hope, and a prayer and know that the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. You can step out into a new path and become a new person just by changing whatever it has been that you've been trying to let go of, that you've known is not healthy for you, but you couldn't somehow get away from. Like you didn't want to get away from it, even though you knew it wasn't helping the situation. It could be that you're going to have to, some of you, not all of you, take it within yourselves to let go of that drinking habit find out who the individual is underneath all that partying get back in touch with who you are and find joy in your life once again um, moving forward on your path joy like you did when you were a kid before there was ever substances and communications relationships I mean all right uh, I have a new deck called the Angel Answers Deck by Doreen Virtue. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sign of Sun Sign, Moon Sign, or Rising Sign of Gemini for July 2017. All right. The card representing now, Spirit saying, get more information about a situation and reconsider some things. Again, we'll clarify with the right away deck. As we go through each step of the Celtic Cross reading before us. Okay. Yep. Get more information. You're not seeing all the, uh, what you need to know. There may be secrets being kept. Reconsider something. Maybe look at something from a different perspective. What's done is done. Instead of staying up at night reminiscing about sadness from the past take down the swords let the sunlight come in and reconsider your life path yes you want recognition you want to be happy again you want to feel like a kid all over again and have happy and sunny days before you and spirit saying in your foundation a year from now Maybe even he's got his hand towards the past. Maybe if you look over the last year and what has transpired, you can start to see clarity on your path now about what needs to change or what your new goals should be. In the recent past, you may have been focused on improving your health. And Spirit said they were there with the temperance energies, with the red wings to wrap around you, to heal you, and to have you find patience on your path. Spirit saying that if you believe in the next couple few weeks, you can put an end to something. And in the next four to six weeks, know that a situation will improve. How? Because they're giving you the hermit energies. They really want you to go within in the next four to six weeks to uh, spiritually transform. There has been something going on and it's almost like some of you are getting to a point right now where you are almost like slowing down to a stop. And, you, and Spirit's having you come to that point to realize who you've been up to now. Who are you now? Who are you going to be moving forward? And how did all of these difficult things make you such a stronger, better person? Because that's what our life paths are about. Someone outside of your path is receiving their something better 
So yes, they're saying let go of something that's not good for you and know that there's something better. Take the time to realize who you are and what you deserve on your path. If you believe you can let something go, you can actually find peace, joy, contentment, and happiness again. Look at that. Hopes and fears. Let go of an old marriage, an old home, an old connection, an old situation. A year from now, you will find peace, joy, contentment, and happiness. Look for a sign about what it is you need to do, the steps you need to take, the location you may need to travel to, to find the answers. And if you believe you can let go, the card representing the entire read is forgiveness. That is pretty much the only way to get out of this is when you can forgive someone. So reconsider what it is that keeps you up at night and know that forgiveness is what's going to bring you peace, joy, contentment, happiness, and love, a happily ever after. Pray for that person. Bless them, peace, joy, contentment, happiness, and love on their path. Thank them for helping to teach you spiritually what you needed to know about you. We come alone, we die alone, and who we meet on the path is what makes us experience our own soul and then die alone to go back to spirit and explain what we learned with these entities in the form of human beings. Where and who and what did we become along the way? Okay, the card overlooking the reading also is the don't stop. Continue to be clear with your words about what it is that you want moving forward. Whether it's finances and career or love, spirit wants you to use your words and say, I don't want what I had in the past. It made me sad. I want something new moving forward where I am going to be able to have peace, joy, and contentment and just settle in that space of happiness. The cards to my left as an overall summary are maybe a fire sign or you setting a lot of goals in the next couple weeks to get things accomplished so that you can receive recognition for a job well done. You can put closure to a path that has now ended. In the next couple few weeks, justice is in your favor. Know that if you are going through a divorce or a situation where people and uh, the past need to be cut away so that you can find balance and happiness again. Spirit's there to help you do that. They want you to have an open heart. They want you to be able to offer love to others. And they want you to have the strength, use the energies of the strength card to not keep going back to a situation in your thoughts that brought you pain. To find peace, joy, happiness, and contentment by finding equality in your connections with others. Continue to send messages out because this new path is going to open up that's going to be beautiful for you. In the next four to six weeks, yes, Spirit's given you the uh, hanged man energies to stop and look at things from every perspective before being like the fool, stepping out on that new exciting path. But at some point, you're going to be so eager to take this leadership position or this new business you're creating and get it started. And then an offer of love comes in, maybe from an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or it's an offer of love that you are hoping or are hoping is a new blessed opportunity, but you're feeling tra trapped and connected to someone or something. And Spirit's saying, go ahead and send out messages. Create a new connection. Create uh, an, a new opportunity for yourself. The Empress is being blessed with a children, marriage, new home, new business, new job. And so work hard. Connect to others and work hard to create what you want on your path moving forward. Meditation will bring you the answers that you need, okay? Now, um, what I like to do is pull a card from the Oracle of Shadows and Light deck by Lucy Cavendish so we can see what Spirit has to say for those born under the sign of Gemini for July 2017. Oops, here we go. Okay, so you're receiving number six. This tells me that maybe in the next six weeks, you're going to be getting over something or someone, maybe a way of even being and now changing your ways. This is the Autumn is My Last Chance card. Please don't lose hope. Lost and lonely, this fragile little being has the apple of life and wisdom. She has hope. 
Although it is fading fast, this lovely little fairy is all buttoned up against the cold, and the bleak autumn landscape offers no warmth or comfort. But in her hands, she holds the source of hope and life itself, a bright red apple. With this apple, she can sustain herself until the frostbound landscape thaws. She can save the seeds from her feast and plant them in the warming ground, and she can, may never go hungry again. And the rewards of this act will continue far into the future, far beyond her lifetime. She's holding the source of hope, but is almost afraid to bite into it. It seems as though she's saving it for a rainy day, and for when she has no other choice. Soon she will realize that what she has herself has turned to it for sustenance and comfort. And winter will then be through. It cannot end until she takes a bite of the apple that she holds. I will keep waiting for help, for hope to come. But all about me is cold. I cannot find what I'm looking for, and indeed I can barely remember what it is I was in search for before I got so lost. I am cold and alone, and no one is with me, but I know that this apple, I know I have this apple, and that what I truly, when I truly need it, I will eat it, and all will be well. Stop trying to rely on others for the comfort, warmth, and sustenance that only true self-love can bring. Waiting for others to give you what you need will be a long and lonely bone-chilling wait at this time. So look at what you already have. Turn to it and feast on it. Learn to love and appreciate the apple in your hands and save the seeds of self-love and plant them. From this one remaining magical apple comes the gift of wisdom, comes self-love, comes abundance, and comes the knowledge that you are a person who deserves to care for and love your own self once you take just one big bite of the juicy apple you will be committing to helping yourself and then you will be free of the need for approval shelter and rescue there is only one true rescue and it comes from the miracle of self-life go ahead eat the apple self-love comes first now i'm going to pull messages I feel sometimes I do this for your own self. I'm going to ask you to think of a person around you. Who is that person that you're thinking of all the time, that you're up in your head about all the time? I'm going to ask Spirit to provide you with that person's thoughts, feelings, emotions, viewpoints, outlooks, and perspective with regards to your connection at this time. Okay? Somebody is really enjoying their connection with some of you, not all of you, because this is a general uh, reading. But that person isn't too excited about accepting or wanting love in their life at this time. So you're thinking slowly about what it is you are creating. You're taking your time, enjoying the ride, and connecting with this person. In, in the uh, foundation, we have the strength energies to continue uh, pushing forward. And in the recent past, you decided to just enjoy the ride. Not really care, or care about the journey to where you're going. Just enjoy the ride. And this is good. This is what Spirit's asking you to do. Now, for some of you in the next couple of few weeks, you're going to meet with a very fiery person, very exciting, high energy person. This could be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And you have the next four to six weeks to figure out whether or not um, you are going to... Be able to plan for your future, your retirement maybe, some sort of fulfillment. Because this person outside of your path is very creative, very happy, very spiritual maybe. In the hopes and fears position, the Hierophant is telling you to just have hope and faith and use the energies of the strength card at this time to figure out how it is you're going to create the Nine of Cups in your life. A beautiful family surrounding with lots of love to be offered. I'm going to clarify with the Rider Waite deck next. So again, this is the Tarot of the Hidden Realm deck. And I'm using the Rider Waite deck for the clarification of each step of the reading. So in the current path right now, wow, this is kind of 
interesting. It looked like there was a lot of celebration and fun, but yet at the same time, there's a lot of depression, sadness, feeling poor or left out somehow. This person really, I think, makes you feel good, but yet at the same time, you're unsure of their love or they're unsure of your love. You're trying to create a happily ever after, but you're taking your time. In your foundation, you're having the strength or using the energies of the strength card to create a beautiful home life for yourselves. And in the recent past, you were big on fantasy and romanticizing, etc. And you're really enjoying that. And now you're looking clearly at what it is you want moving forward. Some of you may want a fire sign. Some of you are going to set very distinct goals as to how you're going to figure out a connection. Is this your soulmate? Is this not your soulmate? Spirit's saying in the next four to six weeks, you are in a good position regarding finances. If you want to go and figure out what's being held in the dark from you, what is the knowledge you'd like to achieve or find out about? Someone outside of your path is taking their time. They're healing with regards to something also, and they're trying to be very, very patient Hopes and fears that you can let go of the, of the anguish and pain from the past and have hope and faith in the future. And Spirit's saying, if you open up your heart, your karmic wheel will turn in the right direction and then fortune will turn in your favor. You will start to find out where it is you need to go and what it is you needed to know. Okay, but for some of you, this really exciting fiery path that maybe came up to this current point in time was not healthy. You were trapped to a situation or a person for some unhealthy reason because you were thinking of your past. Mm -hmm. Been up in your head for a while over something. Now, in the next couple few weeks, finding a new opportunity with regards to finances. Here's your wheel of fortune. Make a wish. Let the past go. Be, be clear about your new direction. What it is that you want. Who it is that you want. An offer may come in but you will be unsure. Part of you will want to put it to an end. This person could be a fire sign. Wow, should I give the situation another chance in the next four to six weeks? And then boom, something comes to an end. You guys realize that you have grown from this experience like the phoenix from the ashes. Spiritually, you figured something out or you're going to be figuring something out for sure in July. And what it is you learned about yourself is going to bring back that peace, joy, contentment, and happiness. Some of you may be putting an end or closure to a situation involving another earth sign. And now you're realizing who, what, and why people have come into your path in the past. So it's a little bit about getting real with regards to a connection and maybe even some of yourselves. What is it that you really want? What is it? Where is it that you really want to find yourself in the end? Who is it you want to be with and who is the right person? In a summary to my left, we've got you guys setting goals to achieve your whatever it is. And I feel like this is, you know, business goals, uh, maybe close, putting closure to one path, getting things done, moving into another path and or dealing with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries or Leo, sun, moon or rising. Here's your portal into the new world, into a new way of being because you've manifested that out or manifested that for yourself by hoping, wishing, and praying with the energies of the star card. You connected out to others, and you found your peace, joy, contentment, and happiness. It's the heartache, Spirit says, that taught you. You don't need to wear the armor all the time, but you do need to clearly state, not only with others, but with yourself as to what it is you want moving forward. Here's your new opportunity with regards to finances and a position of leadership and or ownership of a business. Money will be good in the next four to six weeks. Some of you will walk away from love and realize that that's not the correct path for you. This person may not like it. Maybe some of you are leaving uh, an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I have a lot of confusion about love. So I think uh, career and finances would be a good place for you guys to focus until you get clear about what it is you want. Um... Let's see. I'm going to pull some cards from the Angel Answers deck real quick. And let's see if we can quickly grab a summary again from Spirit about what Spirit wants 
Gemini's to know for July 2017. They're saying no. Something's going to happen a year from now. They're saying don't stop what it is you're doing. So you aren't stopping because it's in your thoughts position. You know, I think, in your foundation that the situation is going to improve. Uh, there will be a peaceful resolution and better health moving forward. Asking help from others to get yourself ready, knowing that meditation is going to bring you the truth. Listening to your intuition. Confirmation, please, with the Rider Waite deck. Spirit saying that you are saying no to happily ever after. Maybe it's your past. This is you connecting out, hoping that a year from now you can manifest what it is you have in your thoughts position. Don't stop, Spirit says. Continue to manifest in your foundation. The situation will improve. You are not stuck inside or outside of a situation. In the past, you were excited about something, but you were up in your head. And now in the near future, you have to come to a peaceful resolution that may make you feel sad. But... As money improves, so does your health. Someone outside of your path wants to help guide you and, and direct you, maybe help assist you with steps moving forward. And Spirit's saying, you're ready. Meditate. Go within. Listen to your intuition and create something new on your path. Manifest. You have the energies of the magician to use your earthbound experiences and knowledge to create something beautiful on your path before you. <sighs> I have the death card and unlikely in the next couple, two, three to six months. So if some of you are worried about someone that has had ill health or yourself, uh, know that. Things are going to get better. They're saying death and endings that are, you know, in a, in a way that need to be let go. Maybe even of someone. It's not likely yet at this time, okay? In the next couple few, few weeks, justice is in your favor, cutting out things and people and situations that no longer serve you, old offers of love and stuff that just don't bring you peace, joy, contentment, and happiness. In the next couple few weeks, fantasizing. Finding yourself in a good position, but you or someone else isn't, isn't accepting love. You're thinking about a new path. You're trying to have the energies of the strength card to open up your heart and to offer love some of you. And Spirit's saying, if you think about things from every perspective before heading in a direction, you can manifest something. And it could have to do with someone from your past or with your children. There's definitely a blessing and a new path ahead for finances. When it comes to love, Spirit's saying, take some time to think about how you can deal with your path moving forward, how you can let go of the sadness of the past, how you can pack up, move forward, take a vacation, connect with others. Uh, messages are going to come in quickly about a leadership position, and you'll be a little bit unsure. Make sure you get all the information you need. Yeah. Got to pull yourselves out of where you're at and put yourself in that new leadership position in your thoughts, too. Who am I now? How can I get excited? What do I want moving forward? You know, write down who it is you want, what they would be like. And then, you know, manifest that. Think of that person. Think of their attributes, who they would be like. And, and Spirit will help guide you in the right direction in July. Okay, so the word of prayer to close with is truth. I am lovingly honest with myself and others. And I feel like as soon as you guys get true with yourself about something that's been bothering you, I think your whole life is going to change in July. So a big time to just go within and think about if you could change your life to be anything you wanted at this time, what would it be like and who would be in it? Okay, reach for the stars. Thank you again for coming to me for your read. I hope to hear from you again in the near future. Maybe I'll send another July reading out soon. We'll see. Take care and God bless.